Alrighty, boys, for today's lesson, you need to turn to page 13 of your student book in unit 16 and 17. You're going to need a pencil for this part of the lesson. In the directions, if you already listened to the seesaw directions, I asked you to get some other materials and set them aside. So for now, you can set aside your scissors and glue stick. We will need them for our next workbook page. But for now, we're going to listen to an audio recording and you're gonna hear the Super Kids talk about choosing a boss for their club. So on page 13, there's some things that the Super Kids talk about. There's some different objects that they talk about. And as the narrator tells you, you're going to circle the word under each picture. So make sure you're listening carefully. Super Kids Club, Student Book, Unit 16, Page 13. Listen carefully and follow my directions. When you hear this sound, your teacher will pause this recording so you have time to mark your answer. Come on, kids! We have to talk about having a leader of the Super Kids Club. We need a boss! Oswald, I don't want a bossy boss bossing everybody around. Then the Super Kids Club won't be any fun. Yeah. But we have so many different ideas about what the club should do. It'll just be a crazy mess if we don't have a leader to decide which idea is best. But it isn't fair if the leader is the only one who gets to decide what the whole club is going to do. We all have great ideas. We all want to be the boss. Hey, I know what. We can all be the boss. We can take turns. When it's your turn to be the boss, you plan what the club is going to do that day. That's a great idea, Cass. That way, we will all get a chance to try out our ideas and everybody else's ideas, too. Yeah, let's take turns being the boss. That's fair. I think when it's your turn to be the boss, you should be able to do special things. Like what? Well... I think you should get to sit in the driver's seat when it's time to tell everybody the plan for the day. Look at the picture of the driver's seat. The boss will sit on it. Sit. Circle the word sit. Maybe the boss should wear something special too. Yeah. How about a big hat with feathers and flowers? <laughs> How about a long black cape with stars and moons on it? <laughs> How about something simple, like a belt? We could make it out of string or rope. I think we have some rope here somewhere. The belt will show that it is your day to be the leader. Here, I found the rope. Now the leader can just tie this in a loop and it will be a belt. Look at the picture of the rope belt. The leader will wear the belt. Belt. Circle the word belt. Should we make a sign for the leader to wear? That's a good idea. But how would you keep the sign on your clothes? We could put the sign on a ribbon. It could be like a necklace. Yeah. yeah. What if we use those noodles that come in the shape of letters? Alphabet noodles. You know, the ones that float around in soup. We could take the noodles that spell the leader or the boss and glue them onto the ribbon. Okay. okay. Look at the picture of the green ribbon. The super kids are going to glue alphabet noodles onto the ribbon. Ribbon. Circle the word ribbon. What should we call the leader? I think we should make up a special name. The leader gets to do other special stuff, like sit in the driver's seat and wear the belt and plan the day. Don't forget the super noodle necklace the leader gets to wear. 
That's what we could call the leader, the Super Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name, the Super Noodle of the Super Kids Club. Who's going to be the Super Noodle first? Since it was Kath's idea that we should all take turns being the Super Noodle, I think it should be Kath's turn first. Yeah! yeah. Oh boy, being the first Super Noodle of the Super Kids Club is going to be super fun. Look at the picture of Cass. Cass said that being the first Super Noodle will be fun. Fun. Circle the word fun. Let's check your answers. You should have circled these words. Under the driver's seat, the red word, sit. Under the rope belt, the blue word, belt. Under the ribbon, the green word, ribbon. Under Cass, the blue word, fun. <laughs> Alrighty, boys, so the information that we learned on this page is going to be super helpful in your next assignment. So who can remember what they're going to call the boss or the leader of the Super Kids Club? You're right. It's a super noodle. They're going to call the boss or the leader of the day the super noodle. Think back to the story and use the pictures about some of the special things the Super Noodle gets to do when it's their turn. So they get to sit or in the driver's seat. So that, that's where they get to sit in the special driver's seat. They get to wear this special rope belt. And they're also going to wear this necklace which is going to have those pasta or noodle letters that spells out boss on it. And that's what they get to do for the day. Now you're going to need your scissors and glue stick and we're going to turn to page 14. So now that you're on page 14, you're going to remember that Cass is getting ready to be the first super noodle. She's getting ready to be the first boss of the day. So let's look and see what's happening in each picture. Where is Cass sitting in this picture? Great, Cass is sitting in the driver's seat. What's she doing here? Great, she's putting on the belt. And in this picture, what is Cass putting on? Excellent. She's putting on the necklace. And then what's she doing in the final page? Good. It looks like she's running some sort of meeting or she's talking with the super kids. So what you're going to do on this page is there's some sentences down below. There are four sentences here. You need to lift page 14. I'm gonna say this direction three times. You need to lift page 14 so you only have page 14 or else you're gonna cut your whole booklet. You need to only hold up page 14 and cut one line two lines along the pink. So hold up page 14 and cut here and here along the pink line. You may go ahead and do that step. Hold page 14 and cut this way, this way. Make sure you only hold up page 14 so you don't cut your whole book. Now you can cut along these blue lines to cut all four sentences apart. Then you're going to take your glue stick and you're going to match the sentences to each of the pictures. Remember that this green ribbon is, stands for the necklace. This chair stands for the driver's seat. And this word right here is one of our memory words, super noodle. And that means the leader or the boss of the club. 
you're going to go ahead and glue the sentence below each picture that it matches. And then you're going to take a picture of your completed page on Seesaw and use your microphone to read each sentence to your teachers. Good luck, boys.